Okay. I'd like to present to you uh, Multiplay, uh, which is our new real-time recorder and playback unit. Um, we believe it's the industry first um, product that will actually record in real time but have a multiple protocol playback um, facility. So not only can you record in ArtNet, you can actually play back in uh, ArtNet, ShowNet, Kynet and ACN 1.31. It's all web-based um, configurable, so you uh, basically record your show in and then you can set up um, the trigger and the outputs and time of day triggers um, all through your web browser. Um, what, with that, you can also select which protocol you want to transmit the show back out onto. Um, so you can record in ArtNet and, and control Kynet fixtures, for example. Um, this is particularly useful so that if you don't have the desk available in the protocol you want to use, it doesn't matter, you record in a, the common format ArtNet and then still can be able to control ShowNet or ArtNet fixtures. Um, it's a 12 universe device, um, so it's adequate for most um, uses and you can uh, date have multiple multiplays running at the same time. Um, it's, yeah, it's basically rack mountable um, and uh, that's it really. <laughs> yeah. How long does it record for? Uh, it can record, um, the maximum show is four hours, um, but then you can have multiple shows on top of that so they can link to one uh, to another show. Um, total record time will be in excess of 24 hours. Is that, that, that affected by the band using like the number of channels? No, because it will record 12 universes as a block. Um, it, it, it's, do, it's not dependent on that. Um, no, it, it just records all 12 universes. If you don't use them, uh, it, it will save up a little bit of space from the disk, but not much. Yeah. Can you not just off the USB or something? It's got an internal hard drive. Um, so um, basically, I'll record all of there. You can um, back up shows over ArtNet now. Um, through DMX Workshop, you can pull, pull back shows and put shows back onto it. Um, so it's, uh, you do have a backup facility. Hard drive or SSDs? A hard drive. Why not SSDs? Because personally, well, hard drive, um, you get more space for your money. Oh, very much. Um, and okay, there's. People, I think people have different opinions about it. Personally, I think hard drives a lot, for the quantity they sell, they're more, um, they're more reliable. Um, and they look, work generally more long term um, than the, um, some SSD uh, devices. So it, everybody has a different opinion, you know, and it, it, we can easily fit it with a different one. But um, personally, I think hard drives are pretty reliable um, if you treat them well, as with anything. Yes, and the installation. You, you say that, but um, I carry my laptop home every single night and chuck it on my bag, chuck it on the floor, and it, the hard drive, I've never had a failed hard drive, so... Yet. <laughs> yeah, I've said that now, I was going to crash on the way home, and uh, yeah, great. <laughs> I might back up tonight. Um, but yeah, that's... Um, I'm not that clued up on the power spots, but I believe it's because we have the multiple protocol playback facility. Um, there aren't that many desks out there that actually support um, all the different protocols. And this way, you don't need to worry about how um, you're going to play it back, because you can record from your show. Then you can select the um, protocol you play back on. Um, so it gives you full versatility, so it doesn't matter what you're recording from. Um, where Faros I think, don't fail to support ACM, but that's it. Yeah, I think it's so. Artnet and DMX, but uh, yeah. ABCM. Oh, yeah. that, you would use one of their boxes to trigger one of yours? No, no, they do do playback units. They don't do real-time recording. Yeah, it's all exactly. based on their control stuff. So you could record from a FAUS unit, um, but there, right, there wouldn't be much point. It's more for the bigger lighting desks. So what was the answer to that? It doesn't do DMX. Okay. Does it have any GPIOs um, it, it does have internal triggers like t time of day, um, RNET macros, which means you can pretty much get any anything to trigger it. Um, for example, we do a range of um, devices that will allow you to trigger. So it's a kind of, there's only internal triggers at the moment, uh, but you can add boxes to do whatever kind of triggering. Um, so it's, it's up to the user what um, choices they have for the triggering. And when you trigger, you're triggering the start of the show? Just, just you're triggering the start of the show. Because it's, 
you're recording um, what you want to look at. The whole point of it is that you record a show from a desk and you play it back. Uh, if you want a lot more intricate stuff, then you can have different shows playing back with different triggers, so you can layer them, um, but you're triggering the show start. It's, it's just a lump of stuff that you just play back or record and you play back. Yeah, all, all the hardware is done in the lighting desk in a lot of uh, choices because that way everybody has their own lighting desk they prefer to use, which means that you can program on what they're comfortable with rather than relearning something. You simply just record from that and then just um, play it back at, at whenever it needs. Sorry? The list price is 6995 It's not bad for the first day of a trade show. <laughs> possible to have a display on it so you can see the um, Any computer, you plug in any computer to it and use a web browser. Um, everything is now web browser, everybody understands web browsers, so you just log on to a, um, a web browser and it, you have full access to everything. Um, so you can see what's playing back, you can configure, you can um, stop, you can record, everything. Any other questions? So okay. One cool. show, one box. Can we revolve? One, one show, one box. No, you can record um, up to 100 shows on there. Um, and you can have multiple ones playing back at any one time. So uh, you can have lots of different shows controlling different aspects, or one show that controls everything. It's up to you. Um, the show, you, it has basically just record what you want and then play back what you want. Just as you would a normal lighting desk without having to have a lighting desk there. No, you, you would again. you would record the short show and you would record the long show and you you play back the one you want. Right. So you couldn't record the long show twice. And then you no, you just play back the long show twice. There's a way of, uh, you can configure it so that you can have a show playing back five times, fifty times, and definitely um, holding the frame until something else um, turns it off. Um, so it's quite versatile in that way. But you can't take a chunk out of a show and say play that chunk. Um, it would have to be all predefined. Um, but it's to replace the lighting desk for day-to-day -day use. So it just does it every single day at a certain time uh, without the expense of having your big lighting desk there. And also means people can't play around with a big lighting desk as well because there's nothing you can do to it. So.